it up once in a love This illustrates your finger style guitar picking that was made so very, very popular in the 30s by such people as Josh White and uh, Burl Ives. And here's the, one of the leading proponents of this uh, gadgetry by the name of David Lightborn for your documentary film uh, enjoyment brought to you by Bellmead Phonics with uh, the Dr. Elwood Snock. And over here is Al. He's a college And over say, here is Joe. Would you say Piedmont or Joe Columbia Carducci, Mons? the author? Pardon me? Your finger style. Oh, yeah. Cahokia Mound style, isn't it? It's finger licking good. <laughs> yeah, here's Joe's Philco. Probably a 42 model, maybe a 41, maybe a 40. At any rate, it's a Philco. It must be the tuning knob there on the lower left. Uh, that could be it up here too. doesn't work. This one's another non-worker. Good shape though, nice GE. Looks like a... Uh, yeah. Just an AM, I guess. It could be a shortwave, yeah. AM shortwave, I'd guess. One of these floor models. Another one of Joe's radios. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Some people think this is the best record to come out uh, yeah. since Harry Smith. Have you seen that, The Revenant? It's, uh, yeah, I think a friend of mine burned it. I think I have it with me. John, John Fahey did it with uh, Bernard Glasgow from OGL Records before he died. And it's like their ultimate black, southern, rural, religious stuff, you know. And um, it's awful good. Rose uh, Blind Roosevelt, Graves, and Brother. There, now, there was a pair. Blind Roosevelt, Graves, and Brother. Uh, you know, about as good as it ever got, those two guys. And Blind made me forehand. Bathroom this way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of... She was the desk bell player? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Honey in the Rock. Honey in the Rock. And that was the eeriest thing. Mother Mary McCollum, When I Take My Vacation in Heaven. Oh, yeah. And Jesus is My Aeroplane. A stream Mary high quality AM radio. radio drummer. Mm -hmm. Take a look at it. Get it could, take it down, take it down off there. And no, 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 no. To call uh, so you say this is this a high, high quality of... Extremely really good sound. Extremely uh, good sound. Sound like the early fifties. Yeah, sound like I was on the radio in the early fifties. Really high quality really speaker, uh, good tuner, uh, big tubes, giant, giant, giant tubes in, the, in there. there. Columbia, uh, yeah, you ought to get this working again. System, I'd love to. But, love but to. then it was over. It, it doesn't take that much. I know. I got to get a hold of somebody who's got the tubes. You know, the businesses I know. And they're probably fifty bucks, sixty bucks. No, 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 no. Already, we basically. Now you could get this thing running. All it takes is one. Smart punk rock, antique radio line, wacko, you know, and there's, and the there's, there's one in every work, town. There's, one, there's a center yeah, in Terre Haute, Indiana, restoration freaks. Right, talking about this kind of thing. Uh, 
I've got four of these working in my house now. Not not this exact model, but this is model is really interesting. The the looks, the, the squareness of it makes it puts it in the 40s, I think, or 30. Yeah, late deco. 30s or 40s. Because things started to round off in the 40s. You know, it started to round off the corners. They didn't. Yeah, it didn't make a. That's what I mean. John John Hendricks, the. I bet you this is like 37. I'm guessing. Yeah, you're probably Yes. Right, right. Come down to see Dave it's, every it Sunday night. You know, uh, no. the, 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 the Art Deco, Art Modern stuff, completely. It's, it's more modern than that. It's been, it's been, it's been um, made, made to look. Uh, right. The, the streamlining uh, business didn't yeah. kicked up yet. Yeah. And then played up in the balcony. Uh, Is that place still there? No, no. Oh, he's going to have a nice wooden back. On the other side of the block. Well, but you just a nice wooden bag. Oh, yeah, right, right. And that's that the side door. Yeah, is that that's still in that there? area. Yeah. What's it yeah, got there for tubes? The Let me see. Oh, that. What's it got here for and tubes? And that's on uh -huh. first, middle of the block. Well, there's something ride. else in there. Twelve. That was. No, that's still there. She's still there. It wasn't open. She didn't open well, it. Well, SA7. But is there's a rock shop. And then, and then, and then you go. Yeah. In the note, the thing he got is his doctorate on Charlie Patton in musicology at UCLA, so he was like a closet, you know, professor of uh, huh. old music. And the essay that he wrote in there is almost like something out of an American Studies um, PhD paper about how there's two kinds of religious music in America, the really prim, proper, puritanical, don't move a muscle, just kind of sing, you know, and then the uh, the, the, the tradition in American religious music in which the, the you, know, you just go ape shit, go ape shit is there, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. and you know that they preferred the kind of Christians that went ape shit to the kind of Christians that were just sitting there emotionless, you know. So, uh, so that's... Uh, How about if we go to spend the night at Joe's? Leave early in the morning. If we go to spend the night at Joe's. Leave early in the morning. <laughs>